What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleteX.com. It's a Bodyweight Wednesday and because of that I'm going to show you how to start hitting the different areas of your chest with a home exercise. Now you don't have to hit the gym all the time and do incline bench presses to hit your upper chest or flat bench presses for your middle chest or dips for your lower chest. If you understand the basic biomechanical principles of those exercises, you can translate them to the home environment and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that here. The two most important things you have to understand is the direction of the fibers in the different areas of the chest. Number one, we talked about before, the upper chest has the clavicular fibers that run sort of in this direction. The middle chest or sternal fibers are going this way. And then the abdominal head runs down in this direction. We can hit that like I've shown you in a previous video right here. But the important thing is to understand what is happening with the, 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 the upper arm in relation to the rest of your torso. That tells you the whole story. Because even though the exercises may look completely different, it won't look different if you understand the positioning of the arms. But let's start with the upper chest. Look at it here on an inclined bench press. You can see that my arms are not directly in front of my chest. Not 90 degrees to my torso. They're actually a little higher than that. So if zero degrees would be right down here at my side, then 90 degrees would be straight out here. On an incline bench press, my arms are angled even greater than that, like 120 degrees up. If we want to translate that to a bodyweight movement, we can do that with a decline push-up. See, when I position myself here against the wall, my feet up the wall, you can see that, yes, even though my body's facing down where it used to face up in an incline bench press, just focus on that position of the arms, and you'll see it's the exact same thing as it was in the incline bench press. So you can target more of the upper chest by doing a decline push-up. Now, we all know that doing a straight classical push-up is gonna do the same thing that a flat bench bench press would do, and that is to target more of the middle area of your chest. So that we've already got covered. But now you wanna flip it over one more time, and you wanna start now targeting those lower portions of the chest, and you can do that with, I know, it sounds a little backwards, but the incline push-up. Because once again, look at how this all uh, ties back together. If you look at a decline bench press, you can see that the arms are now in relation to the rest of the body, sort of forward or below that 90 degree angle. They're down a little bit lower. And you're creating that line of push, which is sort of down and across, down and across. The same thing happens here when we do this incline push-up. Because our body is positioned a little bit ahead of our arms, those arms are angled in relation to our torso down and across. So I know it looks different, completely opposite for what it is, but if you understand that, now you can piece it all together. And of course, at Athlete Next, guys, you know we piece things together because we want to help you to get the most out of everything. I kind of got the ultimate home chest exercise if you want to hit all these areas together. So what you do is you set a bench up here, as you can see in front of you, in about five or six feet in front of a wall, depending upon how tall you are. Now you position your feet up on the wall, to be able to perform a decline push-up. Remember, decline push-up, upper chest. You do three reps here. Then you walk yourself down the wall until your feet are flat on the ground. And now you do three reps of a regular old push-up. And get yourself immediately into an incline push-up position, which will work the bottom portion of your chest. You do three reps there. All you keep doing now is go back and forth, up and down, up and down, up and down, until you fatigue. Remember. Creating muscle growth is going to require that you push yourself to the point of fatigue. If you're training at home and you have a weight vest that you can use, even better. You'll be able to create that overload faster. The idea is understanding the different orientations of the fibers of our chest and how it kind of is commanded by the position of your arm will unlock everything you need to know to target those different areas despite the fact that you don't have access to the equipment that you thought you might have needed to do that. Guys, if you're looking for a complete training program, home workout program that requires nothing, no equipment at all, this even uses a bench, I'm talking about nothing at all, then head to athletenext.com and get our Athlean Zero program. In the meantime, if you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments below and let me know what else you want to see here on future Bodyweight Wednesday videos. I'm happy to bring those ideas and topics to you. All right, I'll be back here again in just a couple days.